if you ask me what kind of technology should we be investing today, we should be investing in technology that can prevent the crisis in the first place. Because prevention is better than cure or pathway in this context, right? And not only investing in technology, we should be integrating it with policies and program to you know, strengthen the crisis prevention and then followed by increasing preparedness and our response and weaker pathway in the future. And to name a few examples, um, for example, in the case of natural disaster, we should be looking at early uh, warning system technology and com com combine it with infrastructures that build to last to be uh, you know, in anticipation of potential dangers. And we have to combine it also with capacity building program that strengthen local businesses and local communities so they are more resilient to a crisis. And also, uh, integrated communication system so you can disseminate information better because there's a lot of misinformation these days especially in social media space and uh, we can also uh, with that we can also um, respond better uh, and quicker to any countries and another example for example in the case of climate change we've been working with the industry to introduce um, carbon footprint calculator um, platform and also um, a carbon offsetting program so that travelers that visit Indonesia can choose to travel more responsibly in the future. And also on top of that, we are investing in clean uh, energy, clean transportation like the electric uh, transportation system for tourism. And um, we are promoting investment also in tourism and and in light uh, of the pandemic, uh, we've been accelerating our effort to digitize the SMEs in Indonesia, especially the tourism businesses. And we, we want them to have more online presence and increase their capacity in managing online businesses because really offline and online are two different things. They need to, we need to increase their capacity to be able to manage uh, their, online, their business online. And this is a multi-stakeholder effort in Indonesia with multiple ministries. And after today, we have been successful uh, onboarding 18.5 million SMEs to the digital platform. And we've been receiving positive feedback uh, from the, these businesses that they managed to uh, even increase their revenue rate of so that's that's a good news for us because SMEs is actually one of the Indonesia's backbone uh, economies. Like that.